make some homemade non-toxic chocolate milk with me. So our family changed over to making our own after using the Yucca app to find out that the store-bought got a zero out of 100. And I'll touch more on that at the end of the video. So I'm making uh, 16 ounce bottles. So these are the measurements for that size. Just half it to make a one glass, or you can double it if you have 32 ounce bottles. So let's start. Two tablespoons of pure maple syrup, then add in four teaspoons of cocoa powder. Now here's where you need to make sure the two ingredients are mixed well together, otherwise it will not mix into the milk enough. So after you have it well mixed, start to slowly add in milk, continually mixing it as you do. Then when you have it well blended into the milk, you can add the rest of the milk and scrape the sides, making sure all the cocoa is mixed in. Then grab a funnel and start to add it to the bottle. I like to add more milk first to the measuring cup to get most of the chocolate out. Then if I still need milk, I add it directly into the bottle. Then just simply close up the bottle and give it a mix. I have three of these bottles and they go fast in our house. I really should just buy some bigger bottles, but that's what I have right now. <laughs> um, one thing to mention though is when you take it from the fridge, you will see some of the chocolate is separated and sitting on the top. Just give it a toss from side to side to get it mixed before pouring it into a glass. So while we started making our own, as I mentioned, milk got a zero out of 100 on the Yucca app. And what I love with the Yucca app is that it shows you the hazardous additives. So here you can see that, and it says it contains three additives we should avoid. So when I click on the additives, you can see here it has two hazardous ones and one moderate risk. You can even click on them to see what they are, which you see here. But then you can go even further and see what is dangerous about these additives. So this is the top one. Pause to read. I didn't add the second hazardous one as it did not have much there to read. But then this is the moderate risk one. Again, pause to read. So as you can see, this is why we changed to naturally homemade chocolate milk because every day we're just trying to remove more and more toxins from our home and our food. So I hope you find this helpful and also hope you love it as much as we do.